one. I mean, who is going to Christmas? Have the Latvian uh, Christmas or oh, the Catholic Christmas mm-hmm. and the other Christmas? Uh, what days does it fall on? Can you please tell me? Uh, the Catholic Christmas. Twenty-four. Catholic don't have any. They have Christmas only. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And how about the Lutheran? I think so. Latvia is a Lutheran country. Yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. They also celebrate it on 24th and 25th, mm-hmm. and Christian Day celebrates in 9th, 7th, 7th of January. 7th of January? Yes. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't have, uh, what is that? The... Oh, you, you don't have holidays on that day, right? Yeah. 7th of... okay. Alright, so how many people celebrated on 7th? You? Uh, this family is celebrating on 7th January. They have a holiday. Also a holiday school for kids during this day free. Okay. okay. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Two days Christmas, first time I've heard in my life. <laughs> it's good. It's together. Is it so? No. Oh, uh, when we are celebrating New Year, those away usually younger people, like students, they gather together like as friends. I know that on uh, New Year, some of people are buying and wearing new sh- socks because you mm-hmm. know the tradition is to get help for the next year. Okay, good health for the next year. Okay. Okay, and uh, how, how you? Nobody told me about Santa Claus here. Come on. Mm, no. Uh, no Santa Claus here. We uh, have Santa, Santa Claus. We have Dead the Father Claus is like a Russian tradition. Okay. It's like a Santa Claus, but he isn't that fat. He rides not reindeers but horses. And he has Snegurochka. He has <laughs> yes, yeah, Snegurochka is his granddaughter. Okay. And Santa Claus has Mrs. Santa in the a Christmas tree, not in the sock. We don't have socks on the chimney or something like that. We have presents on the trees, usually. Oh. Yeah. And uh, on the... Uh, actually, it's, it's, you know, Santa Claus gives gifts to all the good children. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how about the Father Claus? Father Claus gives children. That, that's the difference that Santa Claus uh, gives coal to the nasty ones and mm-hmm. Father Frost gives everyone a present. Yeah. If I'm not wrong, for Santa Claus, some uh, other people are leaving milk and cookies, but for uh, oh, Father Frost, no, 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 no cookies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. However, there is a tradition when uh, family hires some kind of an actor to play <coughs> Dead Maroz for their children. Uh, Dead Maroz usually asks children to stand on a chair and tell them uh, uh, some kind of a story. In my country we have like a different thing. Uh, we have uh, the same Santa Claus one. So who's like more fat, he gets to become the Santa Claus. So he wears a uh, big... Uh, uh, the same thing what happens in US. So the same thing uh, and uh, he has got a lot of pillows on us uh, <laughs> to make himself look fat. So I cannot become a Santa Claus without him. So. Uh, it's kind of the same as Santa. You can write a letter and children mm-hmm. and ask for a present that you want. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, usually Father Frost gives presents to children and elders they just exchange presents by themselves okay. like what they want to give one another. Mm-hmm. So usually children bug the parents about what they want so parents exactly know what to buy and then give to the father frost so he can present okay Okay. usually it happens like that okay good so how does the father frost he comes in a chariot or uh, with three horses or three white horses Uh, or he just he actually goes to no not to it's like uh, a coat but it's blue, it has like red, it's not red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has like a, a stick. Uh-huh. Uh, and a beard? 
Yeah, 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 so we don't have a lot of pork and beef because it's against uh, our, of some of our religious beliefs. And that's why we only eat chicken and uh, uh, mutton. Mutton is, you know, goat or something, you know, uh, sheep. Yeah. So, um, lamb. So, uh, usually uh, it's celebrated more and I told you some uh, little parts of the country who celebrate Christmas in a royal way. But of course it's become a uh, fashion right now. Uh, they celebrate in malls and other faith also just come and just look what what's in Christmas. They and they give cakes, you know, on the church. Um, they give some hot cakes and uh, during the cold winter, it's in the hot cake is like wow, you know, it's really it's, uh, very much contradicting. Um, and uh, on the churches, uh, they have they can invite anyone uh, uh, to the church uh, on that day alone, and anybody can go on 24th night. So they have got hot coffee and uh, hot cakes to eat on the cold winter. So uh, it's, the winter is not so harsh as this one. This is yeah, tremendous. It's like <laughs> four or five degree. Uh, uh, it's around like 10, 15 degrees in my country during the winter. It usually never snows, you know. You don't have snow. Oh yeah, there's no <laughs> snow right now. Yeah, I was so surprised. Oh, come on. Well, no, you gotta wait for that. It's just gonna. Come late, March, but mm. in March. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. It's like maybe. It's still like every year the snow makes the snow so December already. Yeah. But this year, it's well, because of maybe global warming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like five years ago, it snowed and it was very pretty. We don't have that much snow, but like a meter, we yeah. had that, but now Nowadays. we don't. Have Fun activity. Banya, it's like uh, a sauna. It's a hot house. Oh, yeah, okay, hot yeah. house where you go to bath, usually naked. Okay. <laughs> and you, it's um, people think it's cool in winter because if you have snow, then you kind of you are in a very hot hot room, mm -hmm. and then you run and jump into the snow. And, oh. and it's suddenly very hot. That's the purpose. Like you are very very hot, and then you are cold. Okay. Uh, people think that that improves your health okay. and that's good. that's also a tradition. From well, they uh, swim in, in, a, uh, in, in ice. In winter. Yeah. winter. Oh, come on. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. In the yeah. Oh, they yeah. make their own like uh, places where they can swim and it's like really cold outside. They just go and swim in the, in the water. I never seen someone in the, this, uh, this, I live in Keepsara, so there is a river which passes near that place, so I never seen anybody swim, you know. January, and there's like, like Christmas for other half, Latvians, mm -hmm. they, uh, they just uh, swim in it, it's really cold. Oh, mm -hmm. good. Uh, do you have uh, something special food? Uh, uh, I know uh, that you have, um, uh, special uh, sauce like curry. Yes. Uh, okay. I didn't explain you about it. Actually, uh, we have a very different uh, food, and if you eat our food, then <laughs> then uh, you can speak a lot of languages because our tongue gets flexible because it's so spicy food. What we eat is so spicy, uh, and uh, we have the curry that is one of the Indian dish, and. Uh, it is, it is so, you know, it's so beautiful. I mean, it tastes uh, good, right? So, uh, we have a lot of spices. Actually, uh, India was uh, known for the spices, you know. There are a lot of different flavors and spices. And uh, that's one of the things. We have, we have chicken curry, we have got tandoori chicken and uh, paneer.